Hello and welcome to the channel. It is end of summer sale on AliExpress. So if you've been waiting for the deal to buy that certain great watch, now could be a good time to close that deal. Me personally, I'll be filling up my basket with the watches for the upcoming reviews. A couple of months ago, I made a top 10 plus one recommendations for the mid-summer sale and those watches are discounted during the sale as well. So to avoid repeating myself in this video, I recommend that you also check out that video. There are some really good watches like Cadison with Miyota 9000 movement, Pagani Design Daytona Hamash and so on. So really go and do check it out. In this video, I will share with you my current top watch recommendations that I already reviewed plus a new watch, at least it is new for me, that I currently consider a must in my personal collection. I will put the links to the watches on AliExpress and the video where you can see my reviews in the description. Also, there could be some minor overlaps with my previous recommendations. Yes, some watches are just that good value, but I will do my best to keep those to an absolute minimum. And a quick disclaimer, I am an AliExpress affiliate, which means I might get a small finder commission if you make a qualifying purchase by using the links in the description. This will not cost you anything extra, but it will help to support the channel. So a win-win. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's get to the recommendations. This one was a star of the previous list. Pagani Design, GMT, PD1662, Pepsi, Batman, Coke and Black Version. It is very popular and the price is really good. And with all the discounts, it is possible to get it very close to $80 and possibly even under $80. That is from the usual listing price of $95. US dollars. Also, Pagani Design addressed a number of quality control issues in this last few months, including the bezel color misalignment on the Batman version. They also introduced a number of bracelet options. Now it is available on Jubilee style bracelet as well as on the rubber strap. Just a quick recap of amazing specs and materials that you can get for around $80 here. Sapphire Crystal, fully functional mechanical GMT movement, full stainless steel construction, see-through back case, decorated rotor movement and of course a great look of Rolex GMT Master 2 homage. Also, and I did mention it in the last review, my watch has been surprisingly accurate, running at about plus a couple of seconds a day. I did review and did comparison video of this watch, the links are in the description, so do check them out. And a new just released Pagani Design All Black PD1661 Submarine Hamash from Pagani Design. It is 40mm in diameter and it has black dial and black ceramic bezel, a color combination of classic Rolex Submariner look. Pagani Design had other color combinations on offer before, but now they finally have this one. And as always with Pagani Design, great specs, sapphire crystal, Japanese Seiko NH35 movement, 100 meters of water resistance, solid links and solid end links, stainless steel bracelet with milled clasp, and finally acceptable loom. With coupons and discount codes, this can be bought for under $80 US now. And I did review of this watch, so do check it out. It is in the description. Taking break from Rolex homages, it is Amiga's turn now. I reviewed this watch a few weeks ago and I was generally impressed by the quality and the overall package. However, when it came to testing the crystal, it turned out to be mineral glass rather than sapphire as it was stated in the specification. I reached out to the seller and the seller since fixed the specification and it clearly states hard legs now. I think some of the pictures still mention sapphire but the specification fix is clearly a step in the right direction in my opinion. Now, normally this watch is priced at almost 150 US dollars and personally I would want a Sapphire Crystal for that price, however, now it is discounted and can be purchased for almost 95 dollars with all the discounts and coupons applied. At this price, I personally think it is a good buy, especially if you are in the market for a decent Amiga Speedmaster Grey Side of the Moon homage, which this watch essentially is. So, to recap the specs of this watch, it has a full stainless steel construction, Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movement, a hybrid mechanical and quartz movement, decent loom, really good finish for the price point, 
nylon with leather inlay strap with an Amiga style signed crocodile clasp and generally one of the best homages to Amiga Greyside of the Moonwatch at this price point. Due to a compact lug to lug distance, this watch will sit quite well on more slender wrists starting from just over 6 inches. The only other thing to keep in mind is that the strap is only long enough to cover up to 7 and 3 quarters inch wrist. So, in case if you have a closer to 8 inch or bigger wrist, I would recommend to check with the seller if they can offer any other options. Alternatively, there are a lot of inexpensive strap options on AliExpress that will fit this watch as well. This next watch I had for about two years now and it has been a perfect companion. This is probably the best Tecoa Aqua Racer homage out there. This watch featured in a couple of my reviews, I will leave the links in the description. With all the discounts and coupons, you can get the price very close to 60 US dollars. Now, the specs that we do have are stainless steel construction, solid links and solid end links bracelet, ceramic insert bezel, screwed on back case, and a screwed on sign crown. It uses Seagull ST6 automatic movement to power this watch. This watch also has a flat mineral crystal with cycle for the date. It declares only 30 meters of water resistance, which is a bit surprising because the case seemed to be quite well sealed. But as I mentioned earlier, it is probably as close as you can get to two and a half thousand dollar Teco Aqua Racer look for around 60 US dollar price. The next watch on my list is a curious case of non tritium tritium watch. I will leave a link to the full review in the description. The long and the short of it is that the statical looking watch, which states tritium on the dial, doesn't actually have tritium, as a small print in the product listing tells us. What it does have though is a very decent loom, which at the price point of just over $20 beats a lot of watches that are way more expensive than that. Also, at this price point, the watch has a unidirectional cystic-click rotating bezel with a loomed peep, and it also has a very familiar military tactic look of Luminox watches. All this for a smidge over $20, I think is a pretty good deal. As an icing on the cake, it also has a mineral glass and, as I discovered, a Japanese Miyota quartz movement. You can see me opening it up in the review video. I personally got the bracelet version, however, in retrospect, the strap version would be a more prudent choice, cheaper and more robust, and would give me more strap options. And now the bonus feature, and this one probably will come as no surprise, because it was dominating most of the watch channels in the last couple of months. It is Steel Dive 1973. It is a Seiko 6105 homage, also known as Captain Willard. The specs on this watch are really, really good. Stainless steel, sapphire crystal. If you like loom, this baby has one of the best looms you can get on a watch, including loomed bezel. I'm getting a bracelet version for one, because I like bracelets, and two, I'm not particularly excited about any of the rubber strap options offered. And to top it up, none of them look like an original. Now, after doing some digging on the interweb, it looks like the bracelet is not as good as the rest of the watch. So, on the money that I saved on the sale, I'm getting a rubber strap that looks very close to the original. And it's only gonna cost me $8, so I still get some change from the original non-discounted price of the watch. If you're interested, I will leave the link to the rubber strap in the description as well. So, here you have it. Please let me know what other watches from AliExpress you would like me to review. I do find your suggestions very helpful, unfortunately I cannot do all of them, so let's say if the watch suggestion collects more than 20 likes, I will then add it to my review pipeline. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.